Hello everyone, my name is Cosmo Jr. Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are going to be starting a new thing where me and my friends, we have this Minecraft world, and we've decided that every week we'd move to a new base. And so each time we'd move to a new base, I thought I would record it. So this is week one of our first new base. Day one, as it should be, is the most important day for any base because it allows you to get a good understanding of where you're building and it, you know, you can start working and terraforming and, in our case, lighting everything up, which is the very first thing we did on day one. On day one, we lit up the entire cave and, trust me, it took a long time. We spent tons of stacks of coal to get this cave all lit up. And the reason not all of it's lit up is because we ran out of coal and we're going to have to do that later in the day. So as you can see, this cave is very long and it took a very long time, as I said. But this was the easy bit of getting the entire cave all cleaned out. There were so many mobs when we first moved in. It was, it was, it was, it was painful. I kid you not, not being able to see, and then all of a sudden a creeper coming out of nowhere. It's very terrifying. So that was lighting up the cave. And the next thing we did uh, was, you know, predictable we started work on a starter base which you'll be able to see in just a second there we go so the nether portal which is a necessity is you know usually on bedrock edition it's uh it's broken and it doesn't work every time we go through it it takes us somewhere and i linked up the portal correctly but i guess it doesn't want to work so going inside of the hobbit hole that i have created we as you can see a very very nice base and in here we have none other than me wonderful me to show you around so the first thing we got in here is uh is you know me taking off my stuff getting a, getting a good feel of the place and as i can show you right now we got the super smelter here to get us xp and to automatically smelt everything we need then over here we have the beehives yep mm -hmm. beehives yeah Every Minecraft base needs it. And then right behind it, we have the very, very, very nice uh, corn flowers, which we use to, you know, breed the bees and, you know, have them pollinate stuff. And then in here, as we can see, we have a sugarcane uh, farm, so that way you'll see why that's important later. And we have a coke table. We got ender chests on both sides, the dragon egg, shulker boxes, my bed, and utilities. Now, this is why the sugarcane is important. Down there, we have a temporary villager set up. And that villager, uh, he requires tons and tons of paper to, uh, you know, trade to him for emeralds. The last thing we did on day one was put these two signs down saying Cosmos Starter House. And as you can see, it was built on the first day of August because that's when we started it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I cannot express how much it means to me, but we have a bit of an issue. I posted my 150 subscribers special and two people unsubscribed. So uh, yeah, we're currently at 149 because someone subscribed. Thank you very much. But uh, yeah, I'd just like to let you guys know. So stay tuned for tomorrow for day two of this base watch. I am playing Among Us, and I am the intruder, and I'm stuck. Balls. 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 Balls.